Hey, Mindy. How Hi. you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing good myself. Now, now I saw you come in, interview. I saw, you didn't have a lot with you, but you had a bag. <laughs> did you Did you bring the pants? Did you bring the <laughs> She didn't bring the I pants. I didn't bring any of my show clothes. Yeah. I brought work clothes. You didn't bring, you've got pants on. <laughs> yeah, okay, yes, yeah, so I okay, do have okay, pants okay, on. Okay, but you didn't bring the pants. And I could have sworn in the latest video or one of the videos, we can share it again, but I call them rodeo pants, but they weren't. They weren't because they had a pattern to them. But 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 you knew exactly. I think I asked earlier in our preparation. But uh, you knew what pants I was talking about. I did because I have those pants and a yellow plaid as well. Yes, you did, Shannon. And right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and they're okay. delightful. Now, did they have leather? Is it just a color tone? Yeah, it's just a color. There's okay. no, I can't do leather on stage. It's too hot. <laughs> <laughs> the lights, it's too much. All right. Hey, I'm LT, Bands and Clubs of the Triangle. Love local music with us. I'm here with the beautiful Mindy Height shoe. Did yes. I, did, how did I do? How did you did I, great. How that did was I, awesome. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> well, welcome. Glad you're here. Part one. I think in two segments, but uh, we're so glad to have a few minutes with you. Yeah. And uh, thanks going, for having me. Thank you. We're going right to the end of the year. We're about in holiday season. Yep. And uh, but no, thank you. And uh, really catching up on some interviews just through the time that we weren't able to do them, yep. and uh, through the months or years. I want to thank that we've mentioned it occasionally. Mm -hmm. And uh, numerous projects that you've been working on, but uh, gosh, we just want to get to no now. Height shoe, right? Yes. Okay. Now I looked up and found family. I think in Maryland, like like Maryland. I, I thought I did like a thing of origin: uh, United States, <laughs> Maryland, Canada. And uh, and and I thought some of this did you to a T. You got like my family tree over here. Yeah, what the heck? Yeah, free spirit, <laughs> sensitivity, energetic, and I just I think I hit two or three or all three of them. Uh, do you know any more about about your name? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, that's interesting. I like yeah. that I did pretty well to accomplish it. Hopefully, you did. You did really well. Yeah, I do have family in that area and near Pennsylvania. So you uh, you hit the nail on the head. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, hey, talk about your musical upbringing. Yeah. And uh, are you uh, were you born in Raleigh and and just musical highlights and uh, how is music important uh, to you? You know, I, I wasn't born in Raleigh, but I consider Raleigh, you know, I say I'm a local, not a native. I've been here almost all of my life. And, you know, music was a huge part. I started singing at a very, very young age and really nobody could shut me up. And uh, I've continued singing, obviously, and, and over the years did lots of different projects. And um, I know we'll, we'll get more to that, but um, it was a big part of my life in just in what what I love to do, but also how I express myself, how I managed, how I learned to manage emotions, how I learned to process information, um, and eventually led to me, you know, writing my own thoughts and feelings down. And it's right. like, yeah, it was a great, incredible experience in my right. life. Uh, involved um, chorus through middle school, high school band, or from that association to, to those years in school. Yeah, I mean, I did chorus. I did choruses in school, and I did um, lots of one-off projects as well. I would do like um, I always had kind of like other extracurricular singing things going on. I was um, in a in an, a chorale that was as part of Meredith College, and then okay. when I was okay. in college, I was for four years. I was in an a cappella group at NC State, um, and we just the group just had their thirty year reunion. Um, Excellent. So fun, I sang off. Acapella for four years, and that kind of brought me into my 20s. All right. Was in college of the acapella group or did some traveling or would, or would they some? Yeah, no, we did. We would go to other campuses and we would do like invitationals with groups. And, um, you know, when I saw the movie Pitch Perfect, everybody was laughing and I couldn't figure out why people were laughing because that was literally like my life. It was like the movie version of my life. I mean, okay. All of the stuff in there is so true. When it comes to these acapella groups, so it was it was fascinating. Right, I think of a local musician um, Adam. Adam Lee Decker uh, also had the experience of an acapella group, right? That, that did some touring mm -hmm. and so forth. So, um, so, so yeah, very very interesting. Now, are your are your parents musically inclined? Is there... 
they they both love music, but they they are not like musicians or vocalists or anything. Um, but I had grandparents that were. Um, my one of my grandfathers on my mom's side was a um, a trombone player, and he he was very very good and played in big bands. And um, my grandmother on my dad's side was a singer and loved to sing. Okay, okay. Um, uh, what age or some of the experience? Uh, high school, college, but when were you in what you would define as your first band or uh, or solo experience? How would you describe that? I would say outside of the acapella group, which I would say was my first, for lack of a better word, band. But um, in my late 20s, I joined Shine, a rock pop cover band, and met some lifelong friends there. And um, that would be the first time that I joined a kind of traditional playing at bars kind of band. It was in my late 20s. Okay, okay. Uh, your your talent so high up on the bar in just terms of uh, singing and and uh, just enjoying you as a, as a fan and someone out uh, enjoying your music and, uh, yeah, familiar with those years or going back to shine and uh, might have thought it would have even been before then for a band experience other than the one, some that you described, but... Uh, but I get it. Uh, Shine was the first, or the, the bar experience, right? Or going out and gigging, yeah. gigging in ter- terms of that. Um, what are uh, the other experience bands in, in the Triangle, right? Because it's been a Raleigh experience, the Triangle. Uh, what other bands are, are, have you been in, and, and where do you currently rest uh, in terms of your <laughs> vo- vocal talent? Sorry, if you see my eyes darting around, it's because the cats are here yes, and they're yeah. living their their cat life. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, so I was in Shine for a long time, and we got on the wedding circuit. And we were doing lots of weddings, and that was really really fun. And then um, I moved into a band called Road Candy, and was with Road Candy for a long time. And um, that was, I mean, I've just been so honored to work with so many incredible people. Um, hey, after that, hey, hey, cat, hey, after that, I was in Redline. Um, which was an amazing experience and uh, with some, you know, again, just incredible people. And then now um, I am, uh, I kind of do, well, I always am doing pop-up, pro- I call them pop-up projects. I always have those going on. Um, they're kind of like one night thing or, you know, impromptu bands and I do recordings and um, I have worked with a lot of local musicians on some music and I'm continuing to do that, original and covers. But my two bands that I'm in right now are um, awesome. Uh, they are one is called Heavy Weather, right, and right. we are a yacht rock tribute. Which I'm always surprised that people don't know what yacht rock is. Ah, uh, are you lo- on? Lots of genres, <laughs> and, and yeah, yeah. There's so many genres they they keep inventing them. Keep inventing. We just keep making I, them up. Keep yeah, making them up. But um, but no, we were not best at at what yacht. Describe it to yeah, us. Rock. Describe it to us. I would say, and this is this is highly debated. So let me. I'm, I'm about to make a bunch of people mad, no doubt. But um, yacht rock is a subgenre of music from the mid '70s to the early '80s, where there is a, usually a soulful groove, highly highly produced music, very very tight harmonies, and um, I would say you know kind of iconic guitar solo. So you think about. Artists like early Hall and Oates, late Fleetwood Mac, you think of Steely Dan, um, and there's tons of other musicians, a lot of Michael McDonald tunes or Yacht Rock. Yeah. It's stuff that people love to sing along to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, that describes it, and I'm right there, right there. Again, I'm LT, Bands and Clubs of the Triangle. We're talking with local uh, superstar, I call super yeah. uh, musician, just one that so many of us enjoy hearing, and with multiple talents, multiple bands. Through the years, but uh, certainly a familiar face to so many of us. But uh, part one right here, we're going to take a break and then we're going to come right back. More minutes with uh, talking to Mindy and uh, we'll be back right after this.